What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves another banger of a team to showcase for you guys today. Today, we are rocking out with a Dialga and Palkia Diamond and Pearl team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, just exit out the video, leave, get on out of face. I'm just playing. Stay a little bit, but consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. So shout out to all my subscribers. But like I said, we're rocking with the Alga and Palkia. And these are two restricted mods that I never put together. I always use the Alga separately, Palkia separately. But today, we're testing them out together and seeing how they roll. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Dialga over here. The Diamond Legendary with Telepathy ability, alongside with that Life Orb as item to make it do more damage. We got Roar Time, we got Flash Cannon, both for our stab hitting moves, and then we got Earth Power and Blizzard for two coverage moves. Second Pokemon on squad is going to be its lovely counterpart, the Pearl Legendary, Palkia. We got Telepathy alongside with the Lutrius Orb. I think that's how you pronounce this. Lutrius Orb or Lustrious Orb. I think it's Lustrious Orb. But that's Palkia's item. It makes Dragon and Water moves do more damage when Palkia's holding it, so it's kind of like a Life Orb for Palkia. We got Spatial Man, we got Hydro Pump, we got Earth Power and Protect for this thing's wonderful move set. Middle left is going to be our support Grimmsnarl. You're going to see Grimmsnarl being paired up with the Alga and Palkia pretty much every single battle. It's got Prankster, it's got the Focus Sash as item, and it's rocking Foul Play, Fake Tears, Scary Face, and Fake Out. Really do like this Pokemon, and like I said, we're going to be pairing up with the Alga and Palkia because it does have Fake Tears, drop in Special Defense, and Palkia and Dialga are big special attackers. They can legit dump on Pokemon that have been taken at Fake Tears. So, we're going to be using that combo a good bit. Middle right is going to be our fourth Pokemon. It's going to be Entei with the Inner Focus and that Choice Scarf item. We're rocking Flare Blitz for Stab, and then we got Bulldoze for Speed Control, Stone Edge, and then Crunch for our coverage move. Bottom left-hand corner is Amoongus, a great support mod for any team. This thing's pretty straightforward and pretty normal for any Amoongus with Regenerator, Koba Berry as item, and then Spore Protect, Rage Powder, Pollen Puff. Really can't go wrong with that. It really is a, it really is a great moveset for any Amoongus. Final Pokemon on squad is a Pokemon that I'm actually really excited to use. We got Ditto right here. Ditto is always fun to use because you just transform into the opposing Pokemon and then you kind of roll out from there. But this one has a Quick Call as item, so chances are when we transform a few turns, we can get that first turn priority due to the Quick Call as item and roll out from there. But there it is, guys. There's the team preview. If you want to rent this team for yourself, the rent the code is chilling at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Palkia and Dialga Diamond and Pearl team. Let's get rolling here, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first battle for today's video, going up against a Zacian and Shadow Rider Calyrex team, alongside with Thunderous, Blastoise, Landorus, and Roboom. Okay, how am I playing this one? How am I going into it? I kind of want to lead a Grimmsnarl alongside with, like, Palkia or Dialga. That just seems really good. And I'm thinking I'm leaning more towards Palkia, just because Palkia can resist a lot of uh, Zacian's moves. So I'm really liking that. I am really liking that. So, you know, I'm going to lead them to bring the Alga in the back end, and then I'm leaning towards Ditto for my final Pokemon. It's either Ditto or Entei, right? Ditto's type nice with it. Ditto is type nice with it. I might go Ditto. You love me some Ditto. Yeah, let's rock Ditto. Let's rock Ditto here. Lock it in. Lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. You guys know the deal. Before we even start our first battle, you guys got to let me know question of the day down in the comment section down below. And this is an important one. It's a real important one because I'm excited for this game. Will you guys be getting the new Super Mario Strikers? All-Stars, I think it's called? Or battle something i don't know but the new mario strikers game are you guys gonna be picking that one up because i definitely am i'm gonna be doing live streams of that game i'm gonna be doing content over on this channel so let me know in the comment section down below your guys answer this guy's gonna lead the defiant thunders alongside with zassian and i'm cool with that i am cool with that i could drop i could fake tears i could fake out um I could go for a special defense boost what do i want to do here i want to fake out and just grab that special defense boost but the physical attacking which is a problem um hmm I think I'm just going to fake you out and kind of just, uh... Do I go for the dump on by you? Could definitely do that. And scary face next turn. We're just hoping this thing's not Dynamaxing. That's our problem. Thunders might Dynamax. Thunders might Dynamax. Ah, oh, that's tough. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for a shot here. We're gonna hope he doesn't Dynamax that Pokemon. Let's see. He's Dynamax. God dang it, dude. At least, at least, uh, what's called will go first. At least he'll go first. That's tough news. That is real tough news. Because now we're gonna proc Defiant on him. Real tough. Real tough. I was hoping he doesn't Dynamax and we could just dump on it no problem and then kind of go from there. We'll see how this one plays. We shall see how this one plays. Let's see. 
Let's see. That's so tough. That is so tough for us. That is real tough for us. But at least his Zassian will not move this turn, which is really good. And we will get minus one onto it. Just agree. It's a solid for us, but still, dude. That Defiant Thunder is doing me dirty, dude. It's doing me so dirty. I was bank I was banking on what's it called. It's just not Dynamaxing. Of course it's going for Dynamaxing. I think it has a soul vest as well, which is really good. So we might have to fake tier next turn. Let's see. Big out comes through. Y'all eat, send it. Get that going. And he's gonna go first, right? His thunder should go first. He's gonna airstream. Go over to Grimstarl, please. Cool. He goes over to Grimstarl. And now I can uh I could scary face. But now nah, we really don't want to define proc. I'm just gonna uh, actually I could scary face and just outspeed it. That is a good call. Can we outspeed it if we do scary face? That's the real question. How much damage are we gonna do on this thing? It's not gonna matter. We're gonna have to fake tier. We're going to have to fake tier. We are going to have to fake tier. So defiant is proccing. Hmm. Lord, no, we can't fake tier. We cannot fake tier. This is super tough. This is super tough because now he's sitting in a great spot. Now he's sitting in such a good spot. Uh, bu 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 bum. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, I don't want to scary fish you. Drop this thing speed. And try to drop a quake. Right? Try to finish this thing off. That would be my play. That's definitely going to be my play. Oh my lord. I hate this game so much. I hate this game so much. Scary face poking here. We'll slow down this thing. Dude, that defiant thunderous, man. Doing me real dirty. Let's see how this one plays out here. He's going to go for a knuckle. Oh no. Eat this up, Grimmy. Oh, Grimstarl eats. That's huge eats. That's a huge eat right there. But he's going to boost attack back to normal. Hopefully, I don't know if Palkia can actually outspeed that. He's plus one or he's minus one now. And Palkia does. Can we KO with this? Get it, Palkia. Get it, Palkia. Get after it. Get after it. It's... Oh, my lord. That doesn't KO? That doesn't KO? What you mean? Bruh, dude. Doing me so dirty. That's doing me so dirty. Substitute. Okay, can't sub. That's, that's That works. I'm cool with that. That works well. That works well. Uh, from here, you know, I'm just going to foul play. He tried sub, and that works for me. And then, I guess we'll geyser. I guess we'll set rain. Oh, dude, that's so rough. That is so rough. That is so rough, dude. God dang, Zassy. He's going to go for an airstream. He's going to get some speed. And he's going to take out my Grimstar. Okay, so Grimstar goes down here. Oh, my lord. And I could... Oh, yo, I could ditto swap. I get... Oh, yes, sir. Keep that Zassy alive. I'm ditto swapping. Didn't I bring ditto? I'm ditto swapping with them stats with Zassian. That's gorgeous. Close combat comes through here. Look at that. We soak. We soak all that. Oh, yes, sir. I'm definitely ditto swapping. Oh, but now my attacks now. Ooh, what is my stats, man? What are my stats? That's a real question. I got a ditto swap, right? I got to take that Zassian. I got to take that Zassian. It's too good. It's way too good, right? I can go into Dialga. But now, yo, I got a ditto swap. I got a ditto swap and transform into that, uh, that's Zassian right there. Full HP. I'm with it. I'm liking it. Ditto comes out here. We are in an imposter, baby. Yeah. We take his stats. I don't really know his stats. I know it's all over the place. But we get an attack boost right off the bat. It's gorgeous. So we get that. We get that rolling. And we'll get going from there. Okay. Let me see my let me see my stats. Let me see my stats. That might be faster than that thunders. Actually, I don't know because I'm scary face. That is tough. Let me see. We're attack one. Okay, we're speed neutral. Defense down, special defense down. Um, what's our special defense down? From close combat, yeah, from close combat. Okay. We do have the uh the quick call, which could work well. But from here, you know, I just think I should just protect. And who do I take out? Who do I take out? I feel like the thunderous is, is the fast little booger right here. I feel like we protect this uh ditto and then we just uh we take out this uh, Thunderous. We tell it to go home. It needs to leave. It needs to leave. Protect comes out from my Ditto. We blocking up a storm. Who's going to go after him? Wild Charge coming in here. Eat this up, Palkia. It's rough. That's real. That's real rough. That's real rough. We need these Pokemon gone. I can't get rid of them. Okay, he goes down by root cold damage. That works for me. Cool. Because this Ditto Zacian could really do some work for us. He's going to go for a close combat. I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. Okay. Yaga's gonna come in here. We need our Zassian to outspeed his Zassian. We need that 100%. Because we cannot take a close combat from that Zassian. That's gonna do too much damage for us. That is gonna do way too much damage. So we're banking on our Zassian right here. Either winning the speed tie or getting the quick call down. So we have two chances of outspeeding that Zassian and rolling from there. And then if that's the case, we can roll out in this battle real strong. Real strong. He's gonna send out his next Pokemon. It's gonna be Robin. Ooh, Robin? Ah. 
Blue Blue's not too bad. I mean, if I can get off a of Blizzard, that could, be, that could be gorgeous. It really could. It really could be nice. The Surge is flying out here. Do I go for the Blizzard or do I just go for like a Wharf time? What do I want to do? But Behemoth Blade flying through here. We're going to go for the KO there. If I go for the Roar time, I can't move after that. So I think we're just going to go for a Blizzard. Try to chip off some damage on that. Go ahead, Zassian. My Zassian. My Ditto. Go Ditto. Not Zassian. Ditto. Go first. Get rolling here, yo. We need a Ditto to outspeed. It just be so big. It really could be big for us. Could be enormous. Go ahead, Zass. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ditto. Do your job, dude. We brought you in here for a reason. I need you here. I need you here, dude. He fakes out. You son of a biscuit. He fakes me out. How dare you? How dare you fake me out? He's going to drop a close combat into... You should be able to eat that, right? Nope. Fake out does me dirty. And that's going to be battle number one, ladies and gentlemen. A critical... Come on, yo. A critical hit? I was going to say, I think we could have been able to eat up a close combat, but it would have brought us low. But of course he gets a crit. Does me so dirty. He does me so dirty with that. But that's going to be GG's. I should just run this battle, right? I should just run this battle. I'm definitely going to run this battle. But, yo, there it is, guys. 0-1 to get us started. You guys know the deal. We have to win that second battle. Grab ourselves our first win and get rolling with today's video. First battle definitely didn't go our way. We should have killed that Zassy with the Max Quake. And, of course, that Robin faked me out and then got a critical hit with the close combat. Definitely would have been closer. Wish that we, we could have seen it, but we lost that first battle. We're hopping into our second one here. Looking for a first win for today's video. And we're coming up against a pretty cool team. He's got a Moongus, Zygarde, Grimstarl, Ho-Oh. Then he has Cloyster. Cloyster, you don't see much Cloyster, and then the Swim Drink Ashton, which I really don't see him bringing. I really don't see him bringing that too much, but uh, how should I play this one? I feel like Grimstar could be great alongside with Thialga for the fake tiers. We kind of just roll off from there and kind of just get work done on the battle. Let me see your speed real quick. I want to go Palkia or Dialga for the lead. Palkia is good, but again, Storm Drain Gaston kind of scaring me a little bit because we do have water. We do have water, but I am still leaning towards this. Actually, let's go Dialga. He has a side guard. We can have four times super effective move with, with ice. So I'm liking that. We'll bring Palkia in the back end. And then last but not least, Entei or Ditto? Ditto definitely could have got some work done in that last battle. He definitely could have. Like I said, if the fake out wasn't there, we would have been thriving. Do I go Entei or Ditto, man? Ditto's type nice. He's type nice with it. Dude, like me some Ditto. Nah, we're going to go. Uh, yeah, yo, we're going with Ditto, dude. We got to give Ditto another chance here. We got to give that same squad another chance. Because like I said, that battle was a game of inches. It definitely could have been a totally different battle if uh, that Zassian didn't survive. If he didn't have fake out. If he didn't get a crit on me. It could have been a totally different battle. It definitely could have been a totally different battle. But hopefully we grab ourselves a win here. Grab ourselves our first win. And then roll into our third and final battle. And look for a winning record. But let's see what our opponent does. He's going to end up bleeding. Bum, ba, da, bum. Cloyster and ho oh Cloyster over here. Okay, cool. So cool Pokemon with Cloyster. Um, I'm thinking I just faked here. Big tier and ho oh and kind of swarm. Right, send that and then just, you know, Dynamax. And I could go for a Steel Spike, but it's going to be not very effective. I'm leaning more towards like a Worm. Yeah, I'm with that all day. Ho oh might Dynamax. I can definitely see ho oh Dynamax and maybe trying to go for a Flare. Something along those lines, but we should be able to get off a, a decent amount of damage. Should be able to soak up at least one Flare from that thing. And then we could scary face it next turn to kind of roll out from there. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Let's see what this guy does. Is he Dynamaxing? I'm Dynamaxing. He might be. He might be. My Dialga just might be a little bit more faster. This how I was like, it speed's mediocre. It's kind of like Dialga. Mediocre speed. His speed's kind of buns, but strong Pokemon. Can hit hard. So we got Dialga over here. We're going to fake tears turn one. We're just going to roll off from there. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't Dynamax Ho-Oh. Because Ho-Oh is a little scary on the Dynamax side. And he doesn't. He doesn't Dynamax. So we're going to fake tears and high chance of us KO here. High chance of us KO. And hopefully we go before that Ho-Oh so he doesn't sacred fire me. We do. That's gorgeous. That is cool. That is gorgeous. Life Orb stab. This thing's minus two. We tell it to go home. Get on out of here, Ho-Oh. That's a huge KO for turn number one. Huge KO for turn number one. And we get an attack chop, even though I think Cloyster's special attack. But it could be physical. It could be physical. Let's see what he's going for. He's going for Toxic Spikes. How dare you? How dare you go for Toxic Spikes? You little biscuit. He's going to poison me. <laughs> he's poisoning my Pokemon. How dare you do that? You little bugger. He's going to go into a Moongus here. And at this point, I'm just going to... get a fake tears and drop ice, right? Right? Sounds good. Sounds real good. Yeah, let's take out this Amoongus. <laughs> let's take out this Amoongus. I do not want this Amoongus here. Look at this combo. Like I said in the beginning, yo, this combo is dirty. Combo is dirty. Fake tears. Drop some moves. Let's get rolling here. Hailstorm. Bye-bye. Right? Minus two. Solid turns for us. 
Battle turn for us. I think he was going for like a spore or something. Oh, of course this thing sashed. Of course this thing sashed, but still, we have these buffets flying through here. So he might be able to spore me, which which is no bueno. It's no bueno. No good at all. Do not spore me. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Just for a whirlpool. Okay, so he's going to whirlpool me. That's fine. We're able to soak that up, but then I get trapped in a vortex, and he's going to spore me. Little booger. You little booger. So he spores me up. He puts me to sleep. That's kind of fine. We still have a few different Pokemon in the back end. And then Buffett's going to fly. We're going to take out Amoongus. And then we got to deal with this Cloyster. This god dang Cloyster. Cloyster is such a cool Pokemon, though. Really strong. Really strong Pokemon, especially in singles. In singles, it rips. Whirlpool damage chipping away on me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. But yeah, the Alga combo, Grimstone combo, if he didn't put me to sleep there or if he didn't have Sash, we could have got off another shot here on this guy right here. Oh my god, we wanted this so bad. This could have been gorgeous. This could have been gorgeous. But you know what? I'm just going to foul play. Did I foul play Zygarde? I think Zygarde is physical, right? Who do I want to get after here? Who do I want to get after? I think we're just going to do that and just Hailstorm into this thing. Because Hailstorm would have been four times super effective. That could have been big for us. He doesn't even Dynamax. Wow. No Dynamax comes out from him. And we're just going to foul play drop this thing. Hit it a little bit. Chip up some damage. And wow, the thing's bolt. Oh, he's Rocky Helmet too. We don't like that. Oh, we don't, we don't like this one bit. We don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. Yo, wake up, Dialga. Dialga, I need you to wake up like soon. Whirlpool's coming in here. Yo, we need the Alga to wake up. He's coiling, dude. We don't like this. We do not like this. And once he takes out my Grimstar, I'm bringing out Ditto. I'm just going to take his stats. It's not playing. But then we have to worry about the Cloyster. We have to worry about the Cloyster. Uh, do I just start dropping stats? I think I just start dropping uh, special defense. Especially on that Cloyster. Because that Cloyster is kind of a pain. That's gonna be my play. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop special defense here on Cloyster, and I'm gonna drop a I'm gonna drop a, a Blizzard here. Four times super effective. We're gonna win. Fake tears, Blizzard hitting 100 percent of the time here. I probably should have went for a war time, but we're still asleep, which is tough news. Hopefully we get a quick nap. A quick nap would be gorgeous. Quick nap would be gorgeous because this battle it's looking kind of good for him. I'm not gonna lie. He's gonna Dynamax here and get rolling. Yep, there's his Dynamax. Yo, we're hoping, we're hoping, we're hoping we can uh, wake up and land this Blizzard. This could be so good for us. This could be so good for us. And, dude, we got to remember, like, he's got the Poison Spikes. He's going to roll pull set up. He's going to get these special offense boosts. This is rough for us. We need to wake up here. We kind of just need to straight up wake up here. We need to wake up. We need to wake up. Wake up, Dialga. Wake up, Dialga. Need, need, need a quick sleep for me, buddy. Need a quick sleep for me, dude. Well, let's roll out. Wake up. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Blizzard 100%. Big old damage. Give me some freezes. Give me some freezes on the board. Freeze up. Freeze up. We get a crit. Dude. That's a big time crit. No freezes, but yo, we love that damage. We love that damage right there. Quake's going to fly through here. We know Palkia can outspeed, which is huge. We know Palkia outspeeds. I think I'm going to take the stats of that. Uh, Well, actually, he's not going to pick up a double kill. He's not going to pick up a double kill. I don't think Cloyster can KO me. Actually, Cloyster is going to be kind of close. He's got the buff that's going on here. He has a Whirlpool damage. He's chipping away. And he's just going to send more Toxic Spikes because the Toxic Spikes end it. So, cool. He sends Toxic Spikes. Uh, from here, I'm just going to keep Fake Tier in that, uh, that Cloyster, right? Fake Tier to Cloyster. Take out the Zygarde next turn. And kind of roll from there. Yeah, because we know Palky outspeeds. Yo, that's a huge wake up. That is a huge wake up. There's no better wake up than that. No better wake up. This thing's going to power catch up there. Oh, jeez, man. That's tough, because can we KO it now? I don't know. Do we fake tier it? We might have to fake tier that thing now. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to fake tier that thing. 1,000% we got to fake tier it. 1,000% we got to fake tier that thing. Going to Palkia. We're going to go to Cloyster. I'm thinking of going into Cloyster. He's got to be rocking an ice move, right? I wish I knew what moves this thing was rocking. Palky is a safe play, but Cloyster is a cool play. <laughs> what do we want to do? Cloyster is the cool play. I'm going to say he has an ice move. I'm going to say my dude's rocking an ice move. Here. Let's get it, Ditto. We'll take your stats all day. We're poisoned. I know that. We are poisoned, but we want it to become a Cloyster. We wanted to become a closer. And then this should be my play. We'll just be a scary face. Slow you down. And he has no ice moves. What? Why? 
Why? Why do you not have ice moves? Why do you not have ice moves? You son of a biscuit. Why are you not rocking ice moves, man? You have no ice moves. <laughs> ah! Can't do it. I can't do it. He has no ice moves, man. He has no ice moves. God dang, dude. That's all I wanted was ice moves. We went for the fun play. Fun play is not working. Not working for us. Down goes Grimstar. Oh my lord, man. We go for the fun play. And this thing's not rocking an ice move. Get that thing out my face, dude. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. We're whirlpooling. We're sending some whirlpools. <laughs> there we go. Chip up some damage. We'll trap it in a vortex. We love it. Life dude coming out. Oh my. <laughs> ah! It's game, dude. Oh, ba 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 ba. Can't do it. I can't do it. <sighs> What's our play here? What is our play here? We go Palkia. Uh, I gotta go for a spatial run here. Maybe try to get a crit. That could be gorgeous. We know we outspeed. But dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? This game doing me dirty. This game doing me so dirty. So dirty. Come on, Palkia. I need you here. What cloister is not rocking ice move? I was so like prepared. I was just like, cool. We can get icicle. Uh, sphere drop it in Zygarde four times super effective. We'll be thriving, but uh, we should be good here. Just going into a special spatial run, but I want to check out this guy's stats. What's he sitting at? Okay, special defense is even because we uh th did him dirty with that. So we're gonna roll out with that, and then from here, I'm just gonna leave. Or do I iron defense? What do we do? What do we do? What's my plan? I think we just whirlpool into this thing, double down. Let's uh, get some work done, Palkia. Palkia, get some work done here. Space run, come in here. Give me a crit. No crit. Oh, jeez, man. We need that crit. That crit could have been huge. He's going to quake me. Leave me alone. Eat this up, pal. Palky can eat this up pretty well. We'll be fine. That's decent. That's solid. We like it. Like it. We like that. Oh, my God. This battle's going to come down the wire. This battle's going to be way too close. Life do. That's fine. He can life do. As long as he didn't put my Palky into a, uh, a whirlpool. That's fine, because Palkia can, can take him out next turn with Spatial Land. So we'll, we'll, we'll pull him. We'll chip up some damage. And then do I start Iron Defensing? I'm going to Life Do myself. I'm going to Life Do myself. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to Life I'm life Do it next turn, and I'm going into a uh, Spatial Land. Because Spatial Land can take him out. We should be fine. Oh, this one's so close. This battle's too close, dude. Too close. I love it. I love it. But yeah, we're going to have to Life Do here and roll off from there. Wow. What a battle. What a battle. Started off just like highly in our favor. And then he put the what's called the sleep. The Diablo to sleep. He coiled. Went into this. Had his power construct go off. He started just thriving. He started just thriving. But yeah, we're going to have to go into a spatial run here. Try to take you out. And then just just life do it. Life do the squad. If we get rid of Zygarde, I'm not worried about that cloister. I'm not worried about that cloister one bit. If he protects, he protects. That's fine. We're just going to life do and get some HP back. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. There's no way Cloyster could take out Palkia. He protects, see, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine, there's no way Cloyster can take me out. Space Run comes through here, it gets blocked. He's probably gonna go for a Whirlpool. We're gonna life do, we're gonna get some more HP, right? Whirlpool comes in, yeah. He's going for the KO, he's going for the KO. Look at that, that's easy eats. Cool with that. We're fine with that, he traps us in the Vortex. We're life doing, we're doing the same thing next turn. We're doing the same thing next turn, because I need to keep this Palkia alive here. Palkia needs to stay alive. Now he's Whirlpool and Poison damaging me. But still, this will help it out tremendously. Gorgeous. 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 We love it. We love it. We love it. Okay. I think he's hoping on me missing. That's like his only his only hope. But yo, this was such a good battle. Such a good battle. Toxic Spike's doing me dirty, though. Toxic Spike. Sleepy alone. Luckily, it's not like a, uh, a Toxic Poison where it just gets worse and worse and worse. Dude, look at that damage. That damage is ridiculous. The chip damage is ridiculous. Whirlpool coming in hot. The ditto into the cloister actually actually working pretty well for us. It's actually helping us out tremendously. Even though we didn't have an ice move. But yeah, we're going for another one of these. And we're going for life too. And we're just going to keep rolling from there. Let's do it. Let's do it. If he lands another protect, I'm going to cry. Because I know he's going to go for another protect. We need to just take out the Zygarde. Get rid of it. 
and then roll out. Leave me alone, dude. <laughs> Leave me alone. What a battle. What a battle. I want the win. I got to get the win for you guys. He's thinking. I think he's thinking of ways like that. He can like kind of kind of go from here. But again, Cloyster's not a worry. He's not a worry right now. Spacerman comes through. It connects. That's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous connect. So we're going to say bye-bye to Zygarde. That's a huge turn for us. We get rid of him. And then uh, Cloyster might go for another Whirlpool. I wonder what it's going to do. He's going to go from here. Maybe a life do. My mind goes first. Good work. We win the speed tie. We go first. We're going to get some HP back before he even takes a shot. And we're just going to roll off from there. Yeah, I think all I have to do is go Life Orb and then attack. Life Orb, attack. Or not Life Orb. Life do, attack. Life do, attack. He's going to Life do again. That's fine. That is fine. I think he cancels the battle from here. So we're doing the same exact thing. We're doing the same exact thing. Spatial Rend. Bang. Oh, my God. Dude. Oh, dude, that damage is disrespectful. It's real disrespectful. But we got to keep Life doing. So I'm not doing much here. I'm not doing much. That damage is ridiculous. That damage is... It's too dirty. It's too dirty. But yeah, Spatial Rank coming in here. We're hoping for a crit, or we're hoping we can do a decent amount of damage and go from there. But I think his stats are even on the board, right? He's plus one special defense. Okay. So crit could do us really good here. We're going to go here, and then we're just going to life do again. Just give us one more turn. Just give us one more turn. Spatial Rank come through. Just give me the crit. Let's end the battle here. End the battle here, Palkia. Give me the crit. It was the crit. Yo, let's go. That's crit, right? It wasn't even the crit. We didn't even need it. But there it is, yo. One and one to get this video started. Let's hop through a third. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record. Let's grab ourselves a winning record, ladies and gentlemen. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Going up against a 10% Zygarde team with Solgaleo, the Regigigas combo, and then Moltres and Regilecki. All right. How am I going into this one? How am I doing this? I think uh, Grimmsnarl and Palkia or Grimmsnarl Diago works well again. It just does. It just, do it just works so well. I really do dig it. I really do dig that combo. I kind of want to bring like a Pokemon like Entei in here. It'll be nice. Entei Palkia. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. I do dig it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. And let's look to grab ourselves a winning record here. But yo, that second battle was phenomenal. That was such a good battle. We started off so strong. We're just going into fake tears. Dropping Pokemon with Dialga. And then he put my Dialga to sleep. It made it interesting. Brought the Zygarde. He coiled. He had a Dynamax of his own. He was rolling out there. But I'm actually thankful that we went into Cloyster. Because Cloyster was clutch. Cloyster was clutch. I really want the Ice Food, but it didn't work out. But ended up working out in the end. Because we just Life Dude kind of overhealed. Kind of rolled out from there. And just dominated that uh, that Zygarde. But uh, he goes Solgaleo and Moltres. We're going with these two Pokemon. And uh, what's our play? Can't fake tears. Oh, foul play's gorgeous. Foul play's gorgeous. We're gonna drop a nice little foul play here. I'm gonna Dynamax and do I go into a Quake or Wormwind or a Hailstorm? I'm thinking of like a Hailstorm could be good. But the problem would be like Solgaleo Dynamax in here. Doing some work onto me. Onto my Grimstorm. Let's see what he does. We're Dynamaxing first. Cool. We outspeed. That's gorgeous. And we're just hoping we can get off this foul play. This foul play can do a ridiculous amount of damage. Foul plays on Solgaleo does insane amount of damage. So if we can get off at least one. That could be a great turn for us. Because we're hoping he doesn't Dynamax, or we're hoping my Grimstar can outspeed him. We're just hoping he doesn't outspeed us, KO my Grimstar, and go from there. So let's see what his play is. He goes for an EQ. It's fine. He goes for an EQ all day. It's fine. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm really fine with that. I'm really fine with that. Because Hailstorm's going to poke out here now. And this, I don't think it's going to KO. I do not think. I hope it does. Let's see. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't. I knew it wouldn't, but we get off some big damage. He does have Berserk rolling. And we need my Grimstar to eat up this shot. Because I think a Fiery Wrath might come through. He's berserked. I need you to eat up the shot. We'll go next. Let's see. Grimstar goes next. That's cool. Just foul plays poke through here. Send it, baby. Build huge damage. Huge damage, which we love. I think it's now policy proc. That's a little scary. That's a little... That's a little something we gotta worry about. He's gonna go for that Snarl. Oh, Snarl. You... Mm, hate you. Okay, uh... What's that player? What's that player? So I can fake, actually, I can't fake tears. He has full metal body. Buffett might be able to take him out. I might protect. I might guard here. Might have to guard. And then get my Entei out here. Grimstorm goes down. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I can't guard. I don't have any guard moves. It's tough moves. It's real tough moves. He's going to drop that EQ all day. E! Dead. Definitely dead. We're definitely dead here. That's a double kill for him. EQ. <sighs> Tough news. Someone dodge it. No one's going to dodge it. Diago, eat this. Double kill, man. Double kill. 
Does me dirty. See, I want the guard there just so I can like get the buffets out and uh, have Grimstar go down there and then bring out somebody faster. But we can still we can still prevail this battle. We still do good in this battle. He's gonna snarl. Uh, Palkis should be faster than uh, that bird right there. And buffets do not even take it out. Brings it down to one. Brings it down to one. We have Entei. We have the bird. Or we have Entei and Palkia, which isn't too bad. He just still has Dynamax, which is kind of scary. He still has Dynamax, which is just a little scary. Just a little scary. Just a little scary. So we're going to bring out these two. Okay. Uh, What's his other Pokemon? Because I really want choice into the, the Flare Blitz. It's probably our best bet. But it really depends on what his other Pokemon is. Could be Regilek. He could be the dog. I'm guessing the dog's going to come out here. And Regilek, right? I kind of just want to keep this Flare Blitz in. The Flare Blitz take you out. And then... uh, I guess we'll Space Run. I guess we'll space run. This thing has suck a bunch of force. That chip up some damage on me. That's fine. He chips up some damage. And he gets a crit, dude. What you mean with that crit? Get out of my face. Flare Blitz fine. We'll take out him. And dude, this battle. Ooh. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It is real tough. It is real tough here. It's a tough battle. It's a real tough battle. Real tough battle here. We actually still have a chance. We definitely still have a chance. But Space Run's gonna come out here. He's gonna take out the bird. We're thriving here. We get a crit. We didn't even need it. We didn't even need it. But dude, that weakness policy did me dirty. I wish Foulplay would have been able to do a bit more damage. Because if it did, take out that Sol Solgaleo. You can sit in such a good position. Such a good position. But Buffett's 5 through here. He's going to throw out his final 2. Like I said, I think it's Regilecki and the dog, right? The Zygarde dog? Reggie get? Oh, don't you dare tell me it's Weezing and, and Reggie. He brought him in the back? Okay, cool. That's fine. Who's he going to Dynamax? Who's he going to Dynamax? Because from here, I'm just going to go into Flare Blitz. Do some damage on you, and then I'm just gonna go into a spatial run here. Try to take out Doggy. Who are you Dynamaxing? Kind of hoping it's a dog here. He's slow to start right now, so like Regigigas is eh. He's eh right now. He's real eh. Be, be the dog. Be the dog. No, it's gonna be Reggie. It's gonna be Reggie, and the dog is like a little bit of supportish, right? It can hit. It can outspeed a lot. It's just doing a lot of work. But I wonder what Reggie's going for. Maybe a max strike or something along the lines. But this thing even outspeeds. Oh, he's going to protect. Wow, what a protect. I was going to say, he even outspeeds my Entei, but no, he was just protecting that turn. The solid turn. Flare Blitz flies through here. Yeah, i send it that way. That's not too bad. Not too bad damage. And what is he going for? Because now Spatial Run can KO with this, oh, what's it called? With this buffer coming out here. So he's going to go for a quick. He's going to take out Entei. So Entei goes down here and he gets a special defense boost. So we're going to have to bank on a crit later. We're definitely going to have to bank on a crit later. Mmm, Reggie Gagas over here. Leave me alone, dude. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um, we're gonna go for a spatial run. We're gonna take out the Zygarde dog. And then uh hopefully eat up a shot from Reggie Gagas and then get another crit. That could be huge for us. That could be big for us. It could be big for us. Real close. Real close battle. Spatial run flying through here. Gotta take out the dog here. I I think even through this uh special defense boost, we just take it out. It's kind, of a, it's kind of a glass cannon, and he usually rolls Focus Ash. But since his Focus Ash is gone due to Buffets, should be able to just take it out, right? Glare. Oh, he glares me. Good little biscuit. That kind of does me dirty. That does me dirty, that glare. That glare does me dirty. So dirty. Kind of ruins everything I want to do. Because now I don't outspeed him. But he comes through. And we're able to soak pretty well. We're able to soak pretty well. Able to soak pretty well here. Special Defense Boost coming in hot. Oh my god, and I'm paralyzed, man! That just ruined everything. We definitely lost now. Because this was my plan. This was my plan. That Spatial Ren hits that dog. That dog is gone. It's instantly deleted from planet Earth. It's gone. Then we protect next turn. We eat up this thing's final move. We eat up this thing's final move. That was the plan. We eat, it, we, eat up, we eat up the final move. He goes out of Dynamax. Then we should be able to eat up another move. And then have a chance for Spatial Ren crit for the win. But no, I get paralyzed. I get paralyzed. That's just embarrassing. That's just embarrassing. Now it's GG's. Wow, dude. That RNG do me dirty. Do me real dirty. But solid glare from him. That glare was very important. But yeah. That turn could be great. Dog should have been dead. We eat this one up through protect. And then he can't really hit me too hard without Dynamax. We can. We should be able to eat up another shot. And then just hope and hope that we get a crit on that final shot. But wow. One and two for today's video. Not too bad. One and two for today's video. Ended up grabbing ourselves a losing record, but hey, 
it's all good. We grabbed ourselves a win, which is important. We didn't go 0-3. And, and our losses weren't too bad. We lost to battle number one. We lost to battle number three. And RNG did us a little dirty in both of them. First battle, Zassian survived on one and then got a crit with the close combat. And then in battle number three, that paralyzed really did us dirty and didn't even give us a fighting chance. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.